with a steady and ear-bending beat, big equipment is making space for small fish. The problem that this dam was, you know, facing to fish passage was that it was constricting flow. The Sheepskit River isn't much more than a trickle right now, but in the spring there is a lot of water. All Miranda the, Nemeth the of the Mid Coast Conservancy the says the two old narrow gates in the dam made it too hard for fish to fight the current. And they, they were unable to traverse the openings because of the, the velocity of the water. So in the springtime, you see for decades the fish just swimming in circles below this dam, oh, really? swimming in okay. circles, swimming in circles, and they would try their hardest to get through, and some did. But she says most did not. So this work is designed to change that. There has been a dam on this spot for more than two centuries. The sheep's got powered grist mills and sawmills for many years, but the last mill closed nearly 80 years ago. And now that the river is more valuable for fish than power, the conservation groups and government want to do all they can to make an easy swim. This project has a tight time schedule. The crews weren't able to get into the river to start work until July 15th, and they have to be all done and out of there by September 30th. Those restrictions to protect Atlantic salmon. The Sheepscut is one of seven main rivers where wild salmon are endangered, but Nemeth says biologists know a few have survived. So we know from them that there are about 20 to 35 adults remaining that come back it depends year to year. This year we expect to see a higher number. They expect alewives and other fish will come in much larger numbers. Because last year the same groups removed another old dam upriver in Cooper's Mills. The project is now landscaped, has signs and historical information, and multiple hydrants for firefighters. Miranda Nemeth says they plan to make the head tide dam equally attractive for people. To come take a look and see the fish migrate or watch an osprey swoop over. Yeah. And, and that's something we're really proud of to, to restore and improve that use of this, of this property. Most of the old dam will remain. Nemeth says it will remind the humans of their history, but should be invisible and barrier-free for the fish. In Head Tide, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. That project is costing about $500,000 with much of the money coming from federal agencies and from donations to the Atlantic Salmon Federation. The goal is to have everything finished by mid-November.